Well, after spending another hour cleaning up all the leaves, vacuuming it, and blowing it as well, so all the leaves got rid of it, so that I've got no leaves in the corner, I found out the hard way again <laughs> that um, in this stage of the building process, I guess once you have the walls, the side walls in, make sure you get your roof in because um, you know, leaves and dust and things fall in, get actually stuck in here. They, they can't blow away until you actually, um, you know, you have to clean it up over and over again. So um, that's another thing. So uh, make sure you put the roof in as soon as you got the walls as well, if you can. I mean, I'm in, um, you know, time constraint and I've, you know, I just didn't have the time to put the roofs. Hopefully sometime today, tomorrow, hopefully, we will be able to uh, put in the, um, uh, the roof panels, um, at least the plywood panels on and weatherproof it so that uh, the place becomes and stays clean. So, so far, I've also have my internal frame mounted at the corners together as well as some of the joints um, that I had. So now it's all hopefully square inside and the next thing I need to do is bolt them down. So let's have a look. So I have already pre-drilled all of my frame bottom plates ready for bolting down. So I've already drilled a couple of the holes and then I'll be uh, getting the dyna bolts in in place. But before the dyna bolts are put in, of course, I'll be using my rubber underneath it. So that will keep all of the impact and vibration noise um, transferring uh, between the frames. Once the mounting holes were drilled onto the slab for the internal frame, the next step was to screw down all of the top frames to join all of the frames together. And of course, wood being wood, and with all the rain that I had, I had to use my clamps to readjust and bend and strengthen the top plate timber so that I can have a straight line. It was the same procedure on the other side because both timber have actually bent and again not an easy task to bend um, already sort of uh, warped timber. Next, with the help of my brother-in-law, we loaded up all of the panels onto the roof. As we loaded each panel up onto the roof, I did temporarily screw them down just so that I could adjust all of the panels in the right places. All up, we had about 10 panels to be carried up. Halfway through, this is what it looked like from underneath.
and this is what the panels look like from above and you can notice how I've used alternate locations of each panel. By now I have most of the panels in, only two final panels left to install. And the place is getting a roof. Cutting of the smaller final panels in progress. For these final two pieces, I was alone, so I had to do it by myself. But they were small, so not as heavy as the biggest pieces. I had quite an easy run installing all of the panels, except the second last one. This one gave me lots of trouble, being about one millimeter out or uh, in the edges, it just wouldn't fit. But I finally hammered it in and get it all screwed in and all done. And that completed all of the 12 mm thick plywood panels on top of the roof. All the panels were screwed in nicely and all of them in the right places. Well, here's to another milestone. I actually now have a roof. <sighs> it was a lot of hard work trying to get those panels up and then screw them in. Obviously, wood being wood, um, they didn't all fit correctly. There's a couple of millimeters, but I guess that's quite normal within tolerance of woodwork. I guess, I don't know, maybe it is. But uh, it all fits in, it all there, I uh, just screwed the last piece as well as uh, you just saw. So um, the next thing to do is to get the weather shield up there and that be it until we get the uh, metal roofing um, ordered and uh, fitted in. So here's to another milestone. It's only water, but it tastes like gold. Not that you would drink gold. That's how tired I am. Anyway, till the next time. Cheers. Quite a bit of reverb. Slap back. A bit more than slap back, actually. Yeah. I'm sure you can hear it on the camera's microphone. See how much it will actually change once the acoustic goes in and all the panels. Well, this is the first initial test of the acoustics. The next step was to cover the roof plywood with the weather insulation to keep them safe from the rain so that they don't get wet and damaged.
Of course, this did not go easy either. With the weather and the wind blowing, it was just as hard. But I did manage to get it all in and all nailed down. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching.